Oh, hello. Come on in. I just finished up wrestling two longhorns out in the Texas sunset as a band of cowboys cheered me on from behind the barbed wire fence. The fight was close, but in the end, those bovines didn't even stand a chance. Now, I know we could sit here all night conversing the ways of my masculinity, but silence, I see it in your eyes. You want to know just exactly how it is to be this manly. Well, I'm sorry. A grizzly bear is not simply taught the ways of ferocity. It is born with it. Nor does an old, worn, and weathered pair of cowboy boots simply offer up its story. One must put them on in order to appreciate the tears and the sweat that man had to endure in order for him to claim the title of cowboy. Howdy, y'all. Now, I'm just kidding. I'm not really a cowboy, as if you couldn't tell, but it does run in my blood. Good Lord, I was showing something. In actuality, my grandfather was a real West Texas cowboy. And man, if his boots could talk, they would tell you some tales. Now, when you mention the word Texan, many stereotypes come to mind. Like, all things are bigger in Texas. And all Texans are cowboys. We're not all a bunch of gun-slinging, tobacco-chewing, coyote-chasing, prairie dog-hunting rednecks. Although I do have each one of those in my family. Some are even girls. I have broken that mold in my family, and I tend to enjoy a more leisurely type of lifestyle and enjoy the finer things in life. Where my uncle would prefer to drink a cola as you pop prairie dogs as they pop out the ground. Well, I prefer to have a nice glass of wine while listening to some Frank Sinatra as I dream of a better life in New York City. I'm going to show you how this Texan indulges himself, creating the well-groomed man you see before you. Well, this video will give you some answers on what it takes to look your best while maintaining your manly masculinity. Welcome to Chase's Manscaping 101. Listen up, fellas, because I'm about to give you some steps on how to look good. Gentlemen, I'm going to start my Manscaping 101 lesson with lesson number one. I cannot express the importance enough of getting in the shower and scrubbing. Some of you are just downright nasty. Get in there and scrub. I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to stop a flame in your heart. Manscape rule number two. Deodorize. Lift those cave arms up and just rub them down with something that smells pleasant. Fellas, manscaping rule number three. Please brush your teeth. You're welcome, ladies. Manscaping rule number four. Gentlemen, clip your toenails. Don't leave them long and yellow. Manscaping rule number five. Hey, lotion those feet because the dry, crusty crap isn't gonna fly. Sorry, Manscaping rule number six. Bro, cut that hair. 
because you don't take care of it and it's greasy. Troy. Manscaping rule number seven. Hair is okay in moderation. Wax the rest of it. Go. Oh! <laughs> Tate, was that not on? Yeah. One. Oh, God. Okay. Let's sing a song. Go. Dan Apinia! What are you doing, Mama? Okay, fellas, this is the price of what it takes to be a well-groomed man. Take it from yours truly. Okay, gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video for this week. And ladies, if you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And comment down below because I do care about what you have to say. And remember, Monday is just a day away. See you next week, folks. Stay classy.